everyone, welcome to Be Strong and Love Yourself, a channel for very strong people. I'm Dasha Bisali and I created this channel to share some information about happiness and self-development. And today I want to share this picture and um, it shows a um, very simplified version of how the brain can work and how you can use your frontal cortex. And after I show this picture, I will talk uh, about using this information. On this picture, you have two options. One option is, um, let's say you have a habit and it's an easier path for you. And another option is harder path. So as an example, let's say you want to develop a habit of reading a book every day, but instead of that, you're just watching TV shows. So why are you doing that? Even though you want to have a good habit with more desirable outcome. So this neurons, this connection is established and you don't think too much about it. Your frontal cortex is not involved. You just do it um, because you have a habit, because these connections are stronger than this, for example. And you have uh, more inputs uh, between these neurons. And this is extremely simplified version of how it works. But um, again, the easier path has more inputs. The connection is stronger. That's why your brain usually goes with this option. But if you use your frontal cortex, it gives the strength to this connection. For example, if you have motivation and meaning to do something, and it all goes from frontal cortex, your thinking part, analytical part, your frontal cortex adds the strength and then it activates this neuron instead of this and it also inhibits this neuron. And dopamine neuromodulator is like a fuel for the right thing. So you can use dopamine, your motivation, to activate this neuron that will lead you to a more desirable outcome and inactivate this neuron, this connection. And if you do it for a while, then this connection becomes stronger and this one becomes weaker. And this is how you can develop a new habit, but you do need to involve your frontal cortex to do the harder path. Frontal cortex does it and dopamine is a fuel for this action. So as you can see, your frontal cortex can help you to develop new good habits and you can use motivation, which is coming from dopamine, to create this habit. And I've been talking about dopamine in my previous videos, so you can check them out on my channel. Uh, but um, I also wanted to mention that I noticed that for me, it's easier to help myself when I train my attention. And um, when I do that, for me, it's easier to involve my frontal cortex uh, in making decisions. And you can train your attention in different ways. One of the easiest one is to pay attention to your breath. And you pay attention, pay attention, then you notice that you lost this attention and you bring it back. And the more you do it, the better your attention is trained. <laughs> and also you can pay attention to things like sounds or smells, or when you touch something, you kind of use your senses. So when you use your senses, um, you also train your attention. And um, again, the more you do it, the easier for you to involve your frontal cortex in making some decisions. And um, I think uh, this is what is called mindfulness, when you do something mindfully. Of course, we don't need to do everything mindfully, um, but uh, some, some actions we don't want to spend too much thinking on. And if I go and um, take a shower and brush my teeth and do some routine, it actually helps to have the strong connection between your neurons when you don't have to use your frontal cortex. If we were thinking about everything, it would be too much for brain. So this um, automatic actions, they are actually very helpful. It doesn't mean 
that we need to change everything and think about everything all the time. But again, if you want to create a new habit, I think it's very useful to know that you need to use your frontal cortex and uh, your dopamine system in order to do that. And um, I hope it was helpful and ho hope that when you know some details about brain, it can help you to stay on the right path. If you want to know more about it from really smart person, you, I recommend you to watch lectures from Stanford University by Professor Robert Sapolsky. And um, I just um, shared some tiny part of uh, ideas that he shares. And um, of course, I cannot even compare myself to such a brilliant person as Robert Sapolsky. So if you really want to know the science um, and what's going on in your brain, then I recommend you to watch his lectures. And I have the link in the description box. But I will keep learning new things and sharing some ideas with you. My purpose of my channel is to find something that you can use in everyday life and that can help you to understand yourself and I'm sharing things that helped me. Um, so it's not uh, science. I'm not a professor, obviously, but I'm just sharing things that if they helped me, I hope that they will help someone else. So if you want to keep learning with me, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with others. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please be strong and love yourself. Love wins always.